Welcome to Unprofessional Movie Discussion, and today we're discussing The Nun. <laughs> the Nun wasn't a scary movie at all. Not, not really thrilling. The acting was fine. The special effects were fine. Um, that's about it. Yeah, it wasn't, like, definitely not the scariest of horror movies. Like, there were a lot of things that are also designed to try and jump scare you, but it wasn't really thrilling. Like, I say it's a supernatural horror movie, it's about as good as they, as they can get, but it's still not something I'm like, oh, that's an instant classic. But the acting was good, the props were good, the effects, all that was good, and it had a half decent storyline that continue on with part uh, of the franchise that's part of, of and, and I did like the design of the nun and the story around the nun and yeah the acting was really really solid especially in the parts where they were hallucinating. That was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I didn't see the whole big deal with the nun. I didn't see how she was even scary. Um, yeah. there, are some t there are some things that gets questioned there's the bit where the priest, when he's like hallucinating from this kid that he tried to save but died, um, he so he somehow ends up in the grave, and the top of the grave is like it's like it's been, you know, just like when you first touched for many years, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, like the first time you see him fall in the grave, it's like a complete open open thing. Like it's a fresh dug. There's the coffin there, just waiting to close on him. And then the next time you see the outside of it, it's like, wait a minute, he's literally been buried alive, supernaturally, within less than five seconds. Wow. <laughs> like, oh. how does that work? <laughs> and then there was zombie nuns. Ah, that was stupid. Like, it was weird, but stupid. It was, it was stupid, but it was weird, weird. Weird in a s but it looked alright. Like, you could definitely tell that were definitely zombie nuns. Which was yeah. the idea. <laughs> Um, I kind of liked the bit when they they kept praying and stuff and looked like all the nuns were getting killed off. But then there was another hallucination and it turned out there was actually no one there but the girl. I, that was pretty good. I like that. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was really good. Good. I thought it was like, well, either she's having a massive hallucination or, or there's really people still somehow here that we haven't seen. And it turns out it was all hallucinations, like, oh wow, that was so good. Because um, you're convinced that all those extra nuns were really, really there, and they were all so tied into doing the whole whole praying thing that they weren't even realising that the lead lady was getting tortured by the, by the evil nun the way she was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's um, the existence of Jesus' blood and stuff from the... Crusades and all that. Yeah. To what? seal in the evil, and obviously yeah. it didn't work because you have the Conjuring movies. And yeah. That the Conjuring movies are. Yeah. Like I honestly haven't seen any of them. I know that they are they are they are good horror franchises, and there aren't very many. But I'm actually interested to see what the overall storyline is now, uh, which we'll do eventually. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> the Conjuring. Alright, let, let's talk about the Conjuring. Okay, what I've seen. The Conjuring isn't scary as well. It for me wasn't thrilling. And when that woman fell down the stairs, I laughed. Okay, I thought it was funny. And then yeah. I looked around the room. I was like, oh, oh, that's supposed to be scary, not funny. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, See, that's yeah. the problem with some horror movies for us. Like, there are horror movies where we think, "Oh, yeah, this is potentially legitimately scary." Then there are, since we're used to watching certain versions of horror movies, we're all like, "Sorry, but I can't help but try and contain a laugh because this is more funny than scary." <laughs> the, only, the only movie, scary movie that did scare me was Scream. Let's talk a little bit about Scream. Yeah, that was that, something the, that felt like that could actually really happen. I think. I think like supernatural horror movies don't get me. It's yeah. just something like Scream. I don't know. I just yeah, I because can't really watch it in like during the day. I can't watch it really good. Yeah, you know? like I've seen all the screens, and I have to admit they they are much better horror movies because without that whole supernatural theme, the fact that it's actually a 
something real, something that's actually literally happening. It's literally people killing people, yeah. but it's not nothing supernatural or, or what people generally consider as horror. All right, as part yeah. of the main story, it's a lot scarier. But then yeah. you come to Scream 4, and then I wasn't even scared of Scream 4. I just watched... Scream 4 was just like... Predictable. Very mm. predictable. You knew everything was gonna happen. It was like... This this isn't even scary. This is this is another joke. So yeah. the Scream... From Scream 1, it was like, yeah, pretty scary. Scream 2 was a bit scary for me as well. Scream 3 was half, half for me, and Scream 4 was like, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was just like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, the, well, the thing that really got me that I really enjoyed about all this is that each one was playing off off the cliches of your typical scary movies. Like they all played the same. Like the like they would actually list the cliches of each movie for each one. Like a cliche for the first, a cliche for the third, second, a cliche for the third, a cliche for the remake or the reboot. It really it. Really opens your yeah, eyes. The fourth to... one was supposed to change the rules of the cliché yeah. horror movies. Yeah, and it didn't really. How? It really didn't. Yeah, it's like saying like, oh, what was the rules in the beginning? Now the opposite is the rules. Yeah. Rules, which, as much as a head scratcher as it is, makes sense. But they are a good good series. Oh, I'll admit that. Anyway, back to the nun. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so the nun. Yeah. Um. I guess you can, if you want to go see it, it's, yeah, it's, it, like, it's supposed to, there was supposed to be this big hype about the nun because it's a scary image, and then you go to watch the movie, and it's like, The Last Jedi, you know, you're like, well, that's a bit disappointing. Like, there's a whole lot of hype around it, and like, for, um, for some people, it's satisfying. For others, like, really? What was all that hype for? <laughs> yeah, there was, um... <laughs> not, you know... Like, the only I... thing that... The only thing that I liked in the movie, like I said before, was the visual effects and stuff. There was actually really good camera work, some really good special effects done. The, spe the makeup was pretty good. It's just yeah. something... There was some special effects where you see, like, the nun's face in the coffin, and I was like very goofy, although this is really goofy, you know, this is supposed to be like a real big horror movie and you're pulling these little goof things like Freddy Krueger or something, you know, yeah. <laughs> which was dumb. And then the acting was pretty solid, like he said, it was really good, they were really convincing. Um, yeah, because, you actually you know, felt like, you actually almost felt like everything that the characters were going through, that's how good the acting was, you could yeah. feel, you could feel their horror, you could feel all the emotions that they were feeling, like you felt, you, at times you felt their pain, their horror, their sadness. It all, it was all that good. You could really follow with the characters. Yes. Yeah. As you actually, and there are even times where you almost can feel kind of claustrophobic yourself because that's what the characters are feeling. Because that's what's going on with them. Yeah, I didn't feel that. Yeah, <laughs> I merely, like, there may have been one scene where I did feel probably a tiny bit claustrophobic, but. But all the other emotions do I like, yeah, could definitely feel those. I I think the whole time, the only time I got a little jolt was when there was loud noises out of nowhere. Yeah. And that's not that's not a good. That's not really. You can't just get your scary movies downgraded to a, just a loud noise to scare people. You gotta yeah. you gotta have to like make them. Like yeah, they're really yeah. fierce stuff. Yeah, make yeah. it really scary. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I hate about a lot of horror movies these days. Like, they don't make the jump scare just have it be a jump scare. They need that sound boost to be really do it. Like, it's that sudden sound boost that makes your heart jump. That makes you jump. That's what makes yeah. it makes it the, just the, a tiny bit scary. But when it's probably really not. <laughs> the, the only like the way I jolted from the loud sound was like when I watched Mission Impossible with the guns. Yep. Because the guns are so, like, from... Realistically from, loud. Yeah, I think from, like, Ghost Protocol onwards, like, once the gun fires, it's like, it's like, like what the hell? That, yeah. That's all it was. It wasn't scary. It was just, what the hell was that? Yeah. Noise? Yeah, and since I was so lost because I've never watched any of the previous series, I actually got a little bored and I started to doze off and one of the jump scares actually made me jump. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, that actually woke me up. <laughs> oh. 
Because <laughs> that's because I because I was getting bored and I couldn't get what's going on. But once I got what's going on, I was like, okay, this is actually proving interesting, actually worth worth sitting here for. <laughs> yeah, and it definitely can see how it's trying to tell you how things connect with the other movies, but you really have to have seen the other movies to get all these connections. Well, <laughs> the the nun takes place twenty years before The Conjuring. Yeah. And that's how, that's, that's a connection. It's like, yeah. that, that's the, it's like, um, uh, yeah, The Nun, this happened, I don't know, 20 years ago, and then at the end of the movie, like, let's just connect it like that. Yeah, there we go, the 20 year bridge, done. Connected, it's like, mm, yeah. okay, that's fine, maybe, I don't know. Like, there's definitely a lot of good story writing that is done with these horror movies, so it's probably why they're good, but unless you under know all the, seen all the previous ones, it, it probably doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't click as much as it should. <laughs> well, I saw when I saw The Conjuring, I wasn't satisfied. So when all the other ones came out, the second one and the Annabelle movies, yep. I was like, nah, I'm not going to see them because they're going to bore me. But then this whole nun thing came out, and I said, well, you know what? Let's just see a horror movie for once. Yeah, because um, like, <laughs> we're probably going to see a horror movie once a year or, or at best once a quarter yeah we don't see them that often it's not that we don't like them it's just there aren't enough good ones to yeah. see them that often they're not scary yeah you know? like it's more the what the way they do the effects and the way they do the sounds that makes it scary it's not always because it's actually legitimately scary <laughs> yeah <laughs> the next horror movie I want to be more I want to feel scared in my seat yeah like, you want to like not be so scared that you're shaking and you're feeling nervous and nervous like you want to feel the actual scareness yeah. not just go oh great loud sound boom off yeah. stop giving me a hard job with the sound I won't be scared yeah <laughs> so just just to clarify the nun is not scary no at all. no it's the, the uh, actual nun is not scary at yeah, all. no the visual effects for the nun's face of facial appearance in the grave is goofy. Yeah. And the only thing that's good throughout the whole movie is the acting and some of the visual effects. That's not the goofy face. Yeah. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of elements in the movie where it does sell what they're trying to sell, just not too thick enough to really do anything to us. <laughs> so I will give the nun three. Out of five. I'll give it three and a half for effort. <laughs> for effort. Yeah. Thank you, goodbye.